give up love. Like it caught me a son. Okay, so today's gonna be a bit of a short video. I'm just gonna rant about my uh, my favorite purchase of last year, the uh, iPhone 13 Pro. So if you're like me, you are interested in the camera features of this device and the pictures and video that come out of this thing are totally acceptable for like social media or just like if you want a log of like your kids running around or whatever. But I did notice uh, something recently that is a huge problem and that is that how many uh, how many lenses do you see here? Hopefully if you can count, you can you can see that there's three. I mean, that's an IR sensor, so that doesn't really count. But um. Yeah, Apple's kind of lying to us with this uh, third lens here on this one on top because this one is your wide angle right here. This is your one times magnification and then this is your three times magnification. And I noticed when I was taking some pictures at the three times zoom in low light conditions that the image quality was kind of like meh. Like it was just looked kind of mid compared to the other two cameras. And I was like, that's weird. Like what's going on? And so I just to test it, put my finger over that three, three times lens and nothing was coming in on the image. Like my finger wasn't covering the image at all, which means it was taking an image from either the five time or the uh, 0.5 times zoom. I think it's like a 13 mil lens or the 25 mil lens, the one time zoom. And that's just like, what the hell's the point? You're cropping in on an image. Therefore you're giving me less resolution to work with in post. Therefore, if I need to crop in even further, it's going to look even worse because I'm already cropping in on a set resolution image when I should be able to just use that three times magnification like that sensor. So that way I'm getting a full resolution image and that way I can crop in if I need to without losing that much resolution. But no, you're fucking us by forcing us to use the other lenses. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, so I've got my water bottle to help kind of exemplify my point here. So if we look, go to the wide angle, this one is our wide angle lens right here. Um, this one down here is gonna be our one times, and then this one right here, it's supposed to be our three times, but if you notice, it like did, it only works sometimes. Show you on the bottle for a second. So we're gonna go out to wide angle, cover that with our finger. See, covered. Can't see the water bottle. Go over to one times. Look at that. We can see the water bottle because it's using the one times lens. Now we go over, down times one size, cover it up. Look at that. It's actually covered and it's staying covered. Wow. This lens is being used like it's supposed to. Go over to the three times, cover up one. What's that? Oh no. Covering up the same lens blocks the image entirely when it's supposed to be a different lens. How weird is that? It's almost like the feature isn't working as intended. Like, why doesn't this work at all? This thing is basically all just for show. Unless, hmm, is it using it now? Yeah, if I point it up at the skylight, it switches to it, but why not just give us that manual control option, Apple? Hmm, I'm staring at the microphone, not the lens. Good job, we're being scammed. All right, that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. Um... Apple, if you're watching this and you want to continue to call your phones pro lines, unlock pro, like unlock the features so pros can use these things properly and not, you know, how you software engineers, you know, want, want them to be used. Unlock the features. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back on Monday with another video. Hey!